Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. In this video, I will be discussing the Revachor interview experience. This interview happened on 2nd June 2021. Guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end because you can get to know the level of the questions which are getting asked in this interview. Guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe it as well as join my telegram group also. The link is given in the description box. I post regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions which are getting asked in them. So make sure that you do not miss this update and are present in my telegram group. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so, the fir so first we will discuss in the technical round questions. Okay, so the branch of this student was ECE. Now, date of the interview was 2nd June 2021. Duration of this interview is 20 minutes. Okay. So, the questions that were asked in technical round was, first question was, they asked which language you are good for OOPS programming. Okay. So, she answered Java. Okay. So, you can answer Python as well as you can answer C++ or C. So, she answered Java. Now, the next question they asked was, describe the OOPS concept and explain them. So as this is the most common and most important question of any interview, they will definitely ask you OOPS concept. So whichever language you prefer based on those concepts, you have to, you have to explain them the OOPS concept. So in Java, there are four types of OOPS concept. First is polymorphism, then is abstraction, then is inheritance and then is encapsulation. So you will have to describe every single of this concept to the interviewer and make sure that you describe this concept using a real life example. It will make a very good impression on the interviewer that you know these type of questions. Okay. So this was the, for this question. Now the next question. Now what are packages and interface? Again, you know that the packages and interface are the term of Java only. And that was, this is only she said that his, her preferred language was Java. So the question was, what are packages and interfaces? So package first, a package is a group of classes and interface together. Package is creating using a keyword package only. Now next thing was interface. An interface is a group of abstract methods only. See, a package is a group of classes and interfaces together, but an, int but an interface is a group of abstract methods only. Now second point is that an interface is created using a keyword interface. So package is creating using, using a keyword package and interface is created using the keyword interface. Now the next question was based on exception handling. So she had to she had to describe the exception handling in java okay so in java an exception is an event that disturbs the normal flow of the program its object it is an object which is thrown at runtime okay so what is an exception see we all know that divide by zero when we we'll divide anything by zero then it will cause an exception now exception is an event that disrupts the normal flow of the program so I hope this definition is clear to you. Now, when you are describing the exception handling, then you have to describe the keywords related to it also. So the keyword related to exception handling is first one is try, then there is catch and then there is finally. So these are the three main keywords which you have to describe using in exception handling. So try keyword. The try keyword is used to specify a block where we should place exceptional code. Now the try block must be followed by either the catch block or the finally block. It means that we cannot use try block alone. Okay. So see, whichever code can cause exception, that particular code has to be put in this try block. So let's say divide by zero. So n is dividing dividing by zero. So that n divided by zero should be put in try block. And try block can't, uh, can't be used alone. It has to be followed by either catch block or finally block. Now the next is catch block. The catch block is used to handle the exceptions. It must preceded by it must be preceded by the try block, which means we cannot use catch block alone. So again, we cannot again we cannot use catch block also alone. It has to be preceded by the try block because the exception that will be thrown from try block will be catched by this catch block and then the program inside the catch block will run. Now next is finally. Now the finally block is used to execute the important code of the program. It is executed whether an exception is handled or not. See if our program has has exception handled then also this finally block will be running and if it has not handled the exception then also the finally block will be running so this block will always run whether there is an exception or not so these were the three main keywords in exception handling in java okay so next question was what are the polymorphism and its type so we can define polymorphism as the ability of a message to be displayed in more than one form so here polymorphism means that one thing can exist in more than one form now Next was what are the types of polymorphism? So there are two main types of polymorphism. One is the compile time polymorphism 
and other one the other one is the runtime polymorphism so again you have to explain these particular terms also to the interviewer i will give you the link in the description box for these particular terms that is compile time polymorphism and runtime polymorphism now the next question was based on the data structures she was asked binary tree and whether the types of traversals so okay okay so if you are following my videos so you must have seen this question also see what is a binary tree a binary tree is a tree whose elements have at most two children it is called a binary tree since each element in a binary tree can have only two children we name them left child and right child okay so binary tree is this type of tree and every particular node can only have at most two children it can also have zero children it can also have one children and it can also have two children as well so this is what a binary tree is now there are total three types of traversals inside a binary tree so first is pre order second one is post order and third one is in order so what is pre order see pre means pre means that root will come first and then after root there will be left and then there will be right so this was pre order another one is post order post order means that a root will always be coming at the last so again first will be left first will be left child then the right child and then the root last one is in order in order means that a root will be coming in middle of the middle of two childs so first there will be left and then there will be root and then there will be right so remember so this or these traversals are dependent on the position of root and every time left will come ahead of right only so these are the conditions that you have to follow while traversing now the next question is linked list and types again first was binary search and types and th this is the linked list and types okay so a linked list is a linear data structure in which the elements are not stored in a contiguous memory location so linked list is opposite of array you can say it is a linear data structure also but in array we know that the elements are stored in contiguous memory locations but in linked list the elements are not stored in the contiguous memory locations a linked list consists of nodes where each node contains a data field and a reference to the next node in the list okay so see what here linked list these are the it represents the first node of the linked list this will contain this will contain two things one is the data field and second one is the link to the other node okay so again the types of linked list so they are broadly divided into two types first one is the single linked list and second one is the doubly linked list so in single linked list we can only move to we can only move from left to right and there is no possibility of coming from right to left so you can see that the first represents the single linked list and second one represents the doubly linked list that is we can move from left to right as well as we can move from right to left also so i hope this question is clear to you now next question was based on database that is how to give access to view a table and not allow to modify so if we have to give access to someone who can only see the table but he cannot modify the data inside the present inside the table so what command can be used so again a grant command is used and we have to using grant command we have to grant permissions so using grant command we can grant select permission only that you can only view the table and not modify the table data so here grant command is used with the uh, and correspondingly select command is also used to give the permission now the next question is how to add elements in a table so here is a syntax for you that how we can add elements in a table so command is insert into table name values and inside this values we have to pass the values that we have to insert in the table now the next question and the last question of this video is how to remove any column any column from the table okay so again when we have to make make any changes inside the structure of the table then what we'll do we will use the alter command so here the syntax for removing the column is alter table table name drop column column name so this is the simple syntax for removing any column from the table so as this was the last question of this video and this was it for this video i hope you like the video if you want more such videos please like this video as well as comment down and guys make sure that you join my telegram group also because lot more interview experience will be posted for this particular company so guys thank you for watching it